<laughs> Whoever thinks he's something smart enough to say. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Story performance, really. Um, you know, with all the the heat that he's gotten uh, yeah. the last couple of weeks, uh, how cool is it to see him go out? You know, I, I'm always going to stand behind my quarterback and our quarterback. You know, I think Ian's done a great job this whole year. Um, it's a tough position, you know. I mean, quarterback, I mean, win or lose, they're going to blame you, you know. And I have a lot of respect for him, the way he carries himself and the way he represents this program. Um, but, you know, I, I can speak for the offensive line. We're always going to be there to support him. And, you know, a lot of things, um, he may take the flack, but, I mean, it's, it's a team game, so it takes all of us. Has he been carrying himself a little bit differently lately? The I mean, I, I always thought he was a great leader. I mean, still to this day, since we stepped uh, foot on campus as freshman, I, I knew he was a leader. So I think he carries himself well. Um, I don't think anything has changed. I think he's very consistent in regards to how he leads. And what kind of challenges does the Navy defense bring you guys? I mean, they're, they're a great defense. I think they're a top 20 defense. Um, you know, just looking at them, they're, Coach Kelly was talking about, I mean, they have the best traits out of anybody we're going to play. You know, they're gritty, they're detailed. Um, I mean, they, they have a lot of movement, too. So, I mean, the biggest thing for us is, you know, knowing our assignments and just communicating. I think communication is the biggest thing for the offensive line this week. Liam, you guys have talked the last couple of weeks about getting back to your physicality. Um, mm -hmm. First of all, how have you felt like you guys have done in that the last couple of weeks, but also just how – particularly in this game, how important his physicality against Navy? Yeah, I mean, you know, we always joke about Navy has two linebackers, and they're some of the most physical guys we play against. You know, they're downhill guys. Um, and we, we love seeing, seeing them every year, every year, you know. But uh, they're physical defense. They're big, strong guys. Um, like I said, they're quick. I mean, they're, they're gritty guys. So I think the biggest thing for us is we need to – like I said before, understand our assignments. You know, we really need to come off the ball low, get some good movement, but uh, also do our job. You know, you can't do you can't do somebody else's job. You know, that's when things go wrong. But uh, in the uh, past couple weeks, I think you know we just gotta just gotta keep improving. You know, and I mean, it starts in practice. Coach Long talks about it. Coach Quinn, Coach Kelly, um, it all starts in practice. So whatever you're gonna put on the film Saturday, it's gotta show up Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You know, probably they're going to be able to limit the possessions uh, a bit. Just how much does that put an emphasis on you guys and just making sure that you're being efficient, putting up points every time that you get an opportunity to? Yeah, I mean, you see it every year. Navy does a great job. I mean, they chew time out of the clock like, like no other team will play against. Um, you know, we just need to I – I mean, it just goes back uh, – sorry. It just goes back to doing our job, you know, and I don't think we need to start – thinking about that, I think we just need to focus on one play at a time, you know, because then you start getting ahead of yourself and then you start messing up. So I think we need we need to just take it one play at a time and then it'll all work out for us. So, How do you think you guys have handled, obviously, all the changes on the offensive line with, you know, a couple guys going down and a couple new guys jumping in? Yeah, I mean, it's it's always tough losing guys. You know, last year I lost Alex Bars. I mean, I was playing next to him. Um, and then this year, you know, lost our captain, Robert Hainsey, and then Tommy Kramer. And, uh, I mean, those, those two guys are my brothers, you know, and it, it's always difficult. And uh, you hate to see it. You kind of wish you could – I mean, I would do anything for them to be out there. But, uh, you know, jo Josh Lug and Trevor Ruland have done a great job stepping up. Um, it's kind of next man in mentality. You know, we, we know football is a violent sport. We know it's a, it's a freak thing and it can happen to anyone. So, um, you know, you just got to keep rolling and you got to keep bringing guys along, you know. But I, I think they've done a great job. I think Josh has come a long way since getting tossed in for Virginia Tech week. Um, you know, Trevor, he's banged up, as you guys know, but uh, he's going to give everything he has. And I trust both those guys. And I know Rob and Tommy do too. I was going to say, they're kind of polar opposites. Lug's kind of getting his first yeah. chance and Trevor's. Trevor's kinda... been here for 10 years. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Um, and it's good because, I mean, when I've – First started playing, it was nice having Alex Bars next to me because, I mean, he knew the offense better than anyone, I mean, besides for Sam. But, uh, I mean, Trevor knows anything. If Josh has any questions or is hesitant, um, Trevor's there to let him know. You know, I think that's – it's good for him. Last question, Megan. Um, how much respect do you have for Navy's program and the unique rivalry that you guys have? Yeah, I mean, you know, Alohi Gilman went there. He transferred out. But, I mean, Alohi just speaks highly of them. You know, he talks about how hard they work, what they go through, and – I mean, you know, they serve our country, and I mean, I respect, I respect them so much. But, uh, 
We're just excited for the game, and uh, it'll be great. Another great game this year. Thanks, Liam.